that we are all global citizens, especially in Africa, where borders were created from colonial conquest and divisions created in the Berlin Conference of 1884. As the EFF, we believe in monetary and fiscal stability, which is anchored on industrialization and deliberate state intervention in the economy. As many of you may know, South Africa is in the depth of an energy crisis, so one of the complementary pillars include prioritizing of energy, security, and the environment. We must take this opportunity here today to inform the international community that we are not party to the agreement made at the COP27, where the South African government conceded to an experimental exercise known as a just transition which will result in the abandoning of a coal as an energy source in South Africa and the closure of our coal power stations. Additionally, in terms of complementary pillars, the EFF believes on a need for a keen focus on the development of science and technology as an anchor of development in Africa. We believe that there must be support given to research, innovation and enterprise development. Understanding that South African Special planning is rooted in colonial pacts and the sharing of our land by our conquerors. We believe in making one city the administration and legislative capital of South Africa. As things stand, our country's legislative capital sits in the city of Cape Town, while our administrative capital sits in this city of Tswane because of colonial pact between the African colonialists and British settlers colonialists. This must be reversed. Finally, we believe in the transformation of the criminal justice system, that our correctional centers must be rehabilitated instead of creating worse hardened criminals. Members of the diplomatic community we could speak at length about our organization, its history and its policies, but as you are all aware, we have a 10th anniversary rally at FNB Stadium, where we will expand much deeper on who we are and what we stand for. We hope all of you will be in attendance to experience the festival of the poor. Fellow global citizens must, however, touch on some key international issues that require our attention. And first and foremost, we must speak about the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. It must be understood that as the EFF, we believe that the conflict between these two nations must be resolved, and it must be resolved peacefully want to make it categorically clear, however, that we believe the conflict arises because of NATO's uncontrollable desire to infringe on the territorial integrity of Russia by setting up military capacity on its borders. That is the genesis of the conflict. It is the breaking of treaties that were adopted during the fall of the Soviet Union, and that must be condemned as much as we may condemn the war itself. We have noted the communication from Cyril Ramaphosa's office that Russia President Vladimir Putin will not attend the next month BRICS summit in South Africa. It is our understanding that President Putin's withdrawal is a consequence of South Africa state's reluctance to be firm on international affairs and their inability to resist pressure from NATO to arrest President Putin. South Africa is at the current stage led by an individual who cannot take a firm position on any matter, even if his life depends on it. We therefore want to caution all nations represented here today, especially members of BRICS, that South Africa is currently led by a spineless government that will never meaningfully take forward efforts to grow the strength of the global South and its allies. Any effort to fight against imperialism, the calls for de-dollarization and for an alliance that will place BRICS nations on a stronger footing in the global